Today we're gonna make the best old fashioned ginger snap recipe. It is crispy and crunchy and with a perfect zing from the ginger and like that little tang from the molasses with a little bit of cinnamon sugar on the outside just to nail it home. Oh, they're perfection. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. Let's get into it. So, ginger snaps. Cookie, easy cookie dough. Creaming methods, we've got our butter, which is softened. And we're gonna put that in this, the stand mixer, fit it with a paddle attachment. And then we're gonna add our sugar. Pop that up. And get it going. And turn it up. Now while that goes, I thought we're gonna whisk together our dry ingredients. So I've got AP flour here, kosher salt, baking soda, and ginger. Ginger snap. Just give it a nice little whisk. Boom. Set it aside. Check in with my check in my, with my sugar mixture here. It kind of formed those little balls, you know, like the kind of paste, and it has started to kind of separate, which is what we want. Um, we do want this to be nice and light and fluffy. All right, so it's nice and light and fluffy in there, and I'm going to go ahead and add our egg. Let's scrape it down. So that is a beautiful light and fluffy, and we are just gonna add our molasses. So you know me, and I like to add my molasses, measure my molasses in a plastic, and, and then I squeeze it in to try and get it all in the mixer with no fuss and no mess. And beat that in. So you're just gonna mix this until it's incorporated. If you over mix it, it might start to break. So what we've got in here is a nice, beautiful paste, um, and that is what we're going to start adding our dry ingredients to. So go ahead and just turn it down low. Just start adding your flour. A little bit at a time. You don't want to wait until it's completely incorporated before you add the next bit. You want to make sure that you aren't over mixing your, your cookie dough. You also don't want to overwhelm it. So if you put all of it in there at one time, it's going to take a lot longer to incorporate and you're going to end up over mixing it anyways. Mmm, I can smell that ginger. Yeah. Put it in. All right. So what we've got in here is a beautiful dough. So I'm going to get the glass flour off of the mixer attachment. Grab my bowl. Give it one last kind of mix in there because I had that flour that was on the paddle and you just want to make sure that it's all incorporated. Um, feeling like I want to scoop this out of a little bowl to just make it a little easier for myself. Go ahead and get this. Wow. Yes. She is a beauty. All right. You know what the best thing about these? I mean, you don't have to chill your dough. I know, we're gonna make them right now. So, the second best thing is that they're coated in cinnamon sugar. <laughs> yes. So go ahead and get your sugar, put your cinnamon there. I'm just gonna use a fork to kind of, just kind of get that, give it a toss, right? You see that? Boom. You can make some impromptu snickerdoodles with this too. I would have a little bit more cinnamon for those, but. Just in a pinch. And now we need all the other things that I didn't get. Mm, how big do we want our ginger snaps? If you, bake them, if you make them too big though, then they will not bake in the center and you'll have like a crunchy, chewy situation, which is also delicious, but not a ginger snap. So, no doubt. We go ahead and prep our pan. So all I'm gonna do is line them with parchment paper. Just give them a little and place your parchment on top. And do the next one. Go ahead and get your 
drop them in there. I like to do a bunch at a time because I do not have the patience otherwise. So, like five or six, depending on the size of your bowl, a little swirl, right? Okay. And then you're going to take that little piece, I'm going to give it a, make it, you know, put it in a little shape, right? Make sure it looks like it's going to be a circle. I mean, you don't have to, but. They, so these do spread, so you're going to want to make sure that they are at least two inches apart. You don't want one giant ginger snap, unless, of course, you're making a cookie crust, in which case, by all means. And then you're just going to continue with the rest of the batter because we don't have anything else to do today. Just, just scoop, scoop, scoop. This dough is soft, so it's not going to, you know, roll into a perfect ball like you might expect with like a, you know, a chocolate chip cookie dough or something like that. All right, last one, best one. Right. And now we're gonna bake them. I've preheated my oven to 325. Um, and we are going to pop these in. They'll probably take about eight minutes, but I'm going to check in five because I don't want any sort of mishaps. So, in they go. And they're out! Ta -da! <laughs> Smells amazing in here. I can't even. Yes! Now, we just have to let them cool. And I know that this is a tragedy. You could eat them now and they're going to be soft and chewy and... <laughs> I'm game if you're game. But... If you want it to snap, they have to cool, sadly. So that's what we're gonna do. And they're cool. <sighs> so excited. I mm, just let's just listen for a second. Yeah, hear that? <sighs> yes. You're like, no, I just hear New York City. Alright. Anyway, so our ginger snaps are done and they're cool and they are ready to eat, and I'm super excited about it, and you should be excited about it. Cause it's time to try! Oh, you hear that crunch? Mmm, yes. It's like a ginger and molasses situation going on in my mouth. It's like crunchy, with a little extra crunch from the cinnamon sugar on the outside. It's just, oh, it's perfection. These are amazing on their own. You can put them in a cookie tray. They're awesome for the holidays, for summer with s'mores. You can do, you can take these and grind them all up and make a cookie crust for a cheesecake. I'm looking at you, next recipe. Pumpkin even, I don't know, just saying. The world is your oyster, and now you have the perfect ginger snap recipe. Yes.